How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about five things you need to know before you root hack mod your Android device. These are really important and will really help you along this process. Number one is definitely going to be your device name. I know this sounds obvious but you need to know the name of the device you need to know the carrier that you're on. So are you on AT&T, T-Mobile, so on Verizon, some other funny foreign carrier, I don't know. Anyway, you're gonna need to know that information and then the last thing you're gonna wanna know is you're really gonna wanna know the device code name. So I'm gonna give you an example right here. I've got my Nexus 6 and this thing's code name is Shamu. So why that's important is because when you Google and you search for information on how to hack mod root your device, this code name might come up and you need to know what that is. Number two is definitely got to be the about phone or about tablet information on the device specifically. In here we can find a couple different things. One, we can find our model number, which is going to be important for searching things on Google. Two, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be able to find our Android version. So this one right here is actually on the Android version M or developer preview for the Nexus 6. Also you're going to want to know your build number. The reason you need your build number is because a lot of root methods and different ways of modding your device are dependent on that build number. It identifies the software on the device. Number three is also really important. Basically what I need you guys to do is before you do anything else besides getting this information that I've already told you is you need to go in and find a way to back up all your pictures, back up anything that you critically need in case your device gets totally messed up and you have to wipe it completely clean. So it's always very important to do all your backups ahead of time. Number four is how to get into stock Android recovery and wipe data factory set your device. This is important in case you mess it up. Obviously you need a way to restore it. So this is an excellent thing to learn before you do anything else. Number five is probably one of the most important things you need to learn and that's how to restore the firmware. You can do this with many different steps. One of them is going to be using a program like uh, RSD Lite which is for Motorola. Another you can use Odin which is for Samsung or LG Flash tool and the list goes on. Basically you need to have this device tool already downloaded onto your computer along with the firmware for your device specifically because it is specific to each device and even build number sometimes and have that on your computer before you start. Reason being, if you mess it up, you know how to fix it. It's easy. So basically guys, the name of the game here is research. You need to be able to research everything and, and get a full understanding of what you're doing before you start the process. Now I have two really, really good websites for you to do this research and to help you along the way. One is XDA Developers which is a site that I'm a member on and I use all the time to find out new cool things to do to my Android devices. The other one obviously is going to be my site which is rootjunkies.com and if you like tutorial videos like this one it's covered in them and lots of other great information as well so definitely go check that out. If you've done all these steps and you really still need help then I recommend go ahead and commenting on XDA. You can message me on any of my social media links but it's very important that you include the information that you pull from your device. Like I went through in the beginning here, your build numbers and so on. Because this is what's going to help anybody you're asking for help, help you better. So that's going to be it for me guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little five tips here on things you need to know before you root, mod, hack your Android device. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.